Olive's Crossing here, and today I'm gonna give you an official tour of my farm core island. I spent about eight months building this island and I did it all on live stream. Let's dive in. So I have me, Olive, Violet, Henry, Bob, Coco, Joey, Goose, Marlo, Pearl, Spork, Tipper, and Ketchup. So I went for pretty much a no terraforming island. The first place I want us to tour is my airport entrance. As you can see, I have a railroad track that goes from all the way across the island. And then I have a wheat field to my right and I have a little horse stable to my left. Don't walk over the ants. This is one of my favorite details of my island. If you use a rotten turnip, it will cause ants to spawn. Ketchup's tomato farm, absolutely adorable. I turned Ketchup's house into a tomato diner. It only seemed appropriate and on brand. But yes, I love all the reds in here. Use all the diner foods. We love our little tomato girl. And then over here, I converted Nook's Cranny to be more of like a hardware store. So you can see out front, we have tools for sale out right outside. We have a little rack. So we have the horses over here. There even might be a little pile of poop. <laughs> And then over here I have a building I made out of storefronts. And then I use simple panels with horse designs. And then you can see the railroad track ends at this side of the island. It is really important for my island that I get every villager that comes and visits. My Twitch community likes to think this is a graveyard, but I like to call it memory lane. And the hardest villager for me to say goodbye to was Wade. And that is why he is up front with me. Here's resident services. Goose is doing some yoga right now. And then down here, you can kind of see it from the beginning of the tour, but I have my full wheat farm in here. I have a tractor and it's pulling the wheat containers. These are actually umbrella designs. Have some scarecrows in here. And, and then over this way is actually my museum, but I converted it to a train station. As you can see, we I use the jail bars, I have the little horses and the covered wagons, the briefcase, a little waiting area. Here's where you pay for your ticket, right here. And then a little waiting spot right here. I decided to make Brewster his own coffee bean farm. So here's a little pop-up shop of his coffee beans and you can get made to ready order coffee. I like to call him Brewster Jr. He's sitting outside, he's helping dad out, making the coffee beans, roasting them. And then over here's the actual farm itself and I use custom designs for coffee beans on the ground. And then we have like the coffee bean truck in the bags. This is Goose's chicken coop. So as you can see, I use the Zodiac figures to make them look like little chickens. And then I have a coop itself over here. I use little mushrooms to make them look like eggs. This is one of my favorite builds, Coco's Gyroid Farm. If you guys don't know, Coco is rumored to be a gyroid herself. So I thought it'd be only appropriate to give her her own gyroid farm. So I went for more of a clay gyroid kind of field because the outside of her house had a joy gyroid farm. So I was kind of going for more of like a fantasy look of having all the gyroids kind of helping her make pottery and they even help her make food. And then here's our brick oven to make her pottery. It kind of gives me some witchy feels. Coco is definitely considered more of like a scary kind of creepy villager because of her like hollow eyes. But I think that's the cool thing about her is that she looks like a gyroid. Next to the coffee bean farm, we have a little sheep field. I used the Zodiac figures to do this one. They're just little rocking chairs. And I dedicated this spot to Joey and Henry. They're one of my favorite villagers in the game. I gave them a little duck and frog pond. And then I have this little duck crossing where I have these ducks and then the mama duck kind of lead in the way. It looks like Henry's actually building something right now. So part of his house was like kind of taken down, but that's okay. But you can kind of get like the gist of what we're working with right now. We have his little froggy chair. You can't forget the froggy chair in the frog villager's house. He's got the sloppy kitchen and then a little nook over here and a little hamster cage. 
Oops, sorry, Henry. This is one of my favorite builds I've ever done for any of my villagers before. I kind of went for more of a baby look because Joey is considered a baby villager. He does wear a diaper and it looks like he's even wearing a bib today. I mean, come on, he's adorable. But we have his toys over here. We have a little arts and crafts section with some potato chips, some froggy chairs. We have a little sleeping area. Maybe this is this little brother, but we have a little baby duck in the little bed. And then we have a little carrier over here. We have some bunk beds. This is Spork's house. So Spork is a pig. So I gave him a little pig's pen outside of his house using the piggy banks in the game. So we have a bunch of mud spots, buckets, hay beds. If you even see here this little detail, I use a clothesline and I put a little mud stain on it. We have kind of pub feels. So we have some hot soup, some beer. We have a kitchen over here. So we have rain pouring down and then we have the sound effects of the rain as well. It gives me like very much like cozy, but like kind of run down feel. I think it's perfect for Spork cause Spork is like, he looks a little dirty. He's not the prettiest pig, but but he's my favorite pig, that's for sure. I made a strawberry farm using red windflowers. So I ran over them and then planted them on the beach and flowers don't grow on the beach, so they'll always stay in this stage. And I got little strawberry jams over here. One of the piggies got loose, came over here, decided to eat a little strawberry. And then to my left, I actually have my rock garden. So I came up with this idea kind of from Stardew Valley and I wanted to make a little mining area in the farm. And then I have the covered wagons and the horses kind of doing work over here. So I converted my house into a mushroom garden. I use all the different kind of mushrooms in the game, including the mushroom stools and the mushroom wands. Decided to take the narrative of outside and kind of bring it inside. And I have a mushroom pizza sitting on the kitchen table and a little mushroom on the stove. Have some of my gyroids over here. And then over here, I have a little sitting area in front of the window. This is like my kitchen, living space, dining room, living room. I played with the color greens. I absolutely love this wallpaper, but I feel like you can just smell the food in here. I love all the noises from the oven. Downstairs, I actually converted this spot into what you picture your parents' basement looking like. Halloween decorations and Christmas decorations, bunny day and New Year's Eve. And we have a ping pong table. We got the old train set. We got all the posters on the wall. We got laundry down here. We got our sewing machine. We got our workout equipment. We even have Tortimer's wheelchair down here. As you can see here too, that I have a little fan over here. The clothes kind of dry in the wind. Over next to my house, I have a pickling station. So I have all of the cucumbers growing out in the field over here. And then I have a little table set up full of jars and cucumbers for a little pickling station. And then over this, this direction, I have Tipper's Milk Factory. So I have all of the tanks full of milk. We got the sinks pouring of milk. We have all the milk designs on the ground. Cartons of milk. We even have some cows in the backyard. There's just milk everywhere, to be honest. And then I have a secret spot over here. If you climb up this direction, I believe every single farm has to have a little alien sighting in it. So I dedicated this spot to be a little alien sighting on the farm. You can only access it by this little vine. With Tipper's build, you can see I went for kind of like an alien, scary movie kind of situation. I love Tipper, but she definitely is in danger bringing a cow and there being aliens on the farm. But she's got our house over here. She's got more milk. We got a milk tank as well. Some storefronts and some wheat fields. And then we have an actual cart of milk over here as well. We have Marlo's house. If you don't know me, I love being a storyteller and basically when I saw Marlo I was like I have to have this little Italian mobster on my island and he is going to own everything so I gave him the fancy car I gave him the money trees there might be some other kind of situations going on back here we don't talk about it we don't talk about what happens at Marlo's house like I said before the outside of his house Marlo's got some suspicious activity interrogation room I don't know no, we do see Tom Nook's photo in the prison. 
you can use your own imagination. We have some trash bags, chainsaw, a pile of bones, perhaps maybe, you know, a dead body laying inside of there. Very expensive art. I would not mess around with Marlo. Over here, I have a little fishing spot. We even have this giant crab in the game, which is really freaky looking. We have fresh fish that you can buy. And then over here is my tiki bar. See right here, it says Olive's Tiki Bar. I didn't want it to be super tropical looking since it is a farm core island. And I feel like I did a pretty good job executing that. Over here, I have my very special build to me, which is an olive farm, not an olive garden, an olive farm dedicated to my community and myself. I had a friend of mine make me these simple panel designs called the olive jars, what I call my community. So I turned it into a little olive shop. So you can buy big jars of olives here. You can even taste test them over here. And then to the right is where they grow. So we got bowls of olives that just got picked from the trees. This is my lavender farm build, and this is dedicated to Bob. The pretty purple flowers. For Bob's house, I went for more of an elegant look for him because he had the beautiful lavender field. So he has a little backyard scene where you can sit down and enjoy the lavender field. He's got a statue. He's, he's a really fancy boy. And then over here, I turned in my second character who lives on my island into a saloon. Oh, it looks like we have some cockroaches in here. But I mean, what's a saloon without a cockroach, you know? I kind of went for more of a dungy look with the walls and all the candles, all the brown tones. And then upstairs I went for more of a dine-in look. So this is where you're supposed to, you know, go and enjoy your beer. There might be some food, some entertainment. This is the main barn on the island. This giant farm build. And we have the two horses and they're chomping down on some apples and some carrots. All the vegetables in the game planted. So we have our wheat, our carrots, our tomatoes, our potatoes, our sugar cane, and our pumpkins. And then a little bit down here I have a square dancing spot we even have a trophy because there's some square dancing competitions on the island if you forgot your cowboy boots we have some extra pairs over here we even have some bugs I like to participate let me get my dancing moves out there we go pretty good right this direction, we have Pearl's Honey Bee Farm. So over here, we have all of the pretty yellow flowers and the bumblebees outside of the beehives. And then we have some pretty wheat fields in the back. And then we have a little sitting area where we have some honey, some bread, some tea. So I went for an all yellow theme for Pearl's house because, you know, honey. She's got her bread, our honey jar, jar over here, some tea. She even has a pet bee in here as well. We got some fresh baked bread. And then I used an accent wall full of honeycombs. Then over here, I have a dedicated wedding spot. Picture this being your backyard farm wedding. We even have the farm animals that are attending the wedding. They're right up front. We got the duck and the pig. And we have a farm to table over here. So we have all of the fresh vegetables and food on the farm. And then here is where everybody goes down and sits down for the wedding reception. Over here, I have a pathway that leads me to a very cute farm picnic spot where we have some fresh jams and some tea. And then over here, I have an asparagus farm. I accidentally picked a hyacinth and I was like, oh my gosh, this looks just like an asparagus. And then I have some casual wild turkeys hanging out on the back of the beach. And then over here, I I have a watermelon farm. You can actually use the beach balls in the game that are the watermelon design. And then over here, I have an eggplant farm. So I use the seasonal eggplant little cows and turn them into a farm itself. Is one more spot on the island. So over here, I have my official Julia Nova farmer's market. So I use the castle build walls, have fresh bread, vegetables, some canned fruit, jams, coffee beans, some pumpkins, all everything you can find at a farmer's market. And I didn't feel like the Able sisters looked very farm. So I actually hid it back here behind the castle gate to kind of give it a different look. So I thought that turned out pretty cool. 
And that ends my whole island tour of Giulianova Farm Corps. I am currently working on my brand new island over on my Twitch channel, Monday, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays at 1 p.m. Eastern time, and my new theme is medieval. So if you wanna go check me out, my link to my Twitch is in my description below, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.